All right, so today on what plant is that, Paul? This is a cystanth, or now they call it calendrinia, or they used to call it calendrinia grandiflora. Um, lots of fancy words, but I know this as a succulent that is um, native to Chile, and I know it as rock purslane. Uh, that's a common name. Uh, and I remember this one I got, it was labeled as Jazz Time. So uh, I'll put a link in to that information. But this succulent is actually pretty cool because I, I call it Rock Purslane, by the way, um, because it's native to Chile. So it's a South American succulent, which is a bit more uncommon in a lot of Southern California gardens. Uh, the good news about this plant is uh, it's really frost hardy. You could It'll tolerate down to 15 degrees or so, um, and it's really easy to propagate. The lighting's a bit bad there, sorry. Um, and it grows pretty quick, so it's uh, really one of the easier succulents, in my opinion, to grow. It uh, is really drought tolerant once uh, established, and I think uh, I actually tend to kill them uh, by overwatering them at times, so they really don't like to be wet or in wet soil, so they really need good, fast draining soil. Do, that does really well in a, um, a pot or a uh, any type of raised garden uh, bed if you wanted to do that and I've even seen them growing on succulent walls too so really pretty I like how they droop right before they bloom and uh, they're just really unique they'll only grow about a foot high until they bloom as you can see they get taller during this stage and they will spread out and you can group them with lots of different things and the flowers will grow quite for a long time and they're just really an intense color flower. Nothing like I've ever seen. So uh, I really enjoy the succulent. It does really well in Southern California. Again, I, I tend to kind of overwater them and sometimes they will um, kind of die or just kind of rot and you could pull them and you could still save the plant if you put it in a better soil root eventually, especially with uh, root hormone. But any, I just, Dry your soil, let it dry out, and you'll do fine. Um, also, in my experience, I, I do see a lot of them in yards where they look beautiful this color year-round. However, in my experience, uh, the heat, or even in this uh, part sun environment here, they will kind of not look so pretty about a, a quarter of the year, I would say. They will get a little bit um, just kind of brown or bronzish or kind of die back. But I'll just usually give them a good prune back, and they'll, they'll do fine. So please give us a like and a subscribe. We'll keep them coming. Again, I know this is Rock Purslane um, Jazz Time, but it's got all those other fancy names too. So beautiful, succulent, and the flowers start blooming in about um, right now in the mid to end of April, I would say, and they'll go until June. Uh, one thing I would like to maybe remind the viewers is I sometimes will back into this and the purple flowers will kind of mark the car. So that's about the only bummer I could think about of this plant. So um, it will kind of grow into a, 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 the driveway or something like that if you kind of have the, the driveway nearby. As you can see, it just is starting to creep in. But last year I pruned it back a lot farther. So I'll probably just let it grow this year and see what happens. So anyways, we got a lot more cool plants coming your way, as you can see. And there is something I'll show really quick sure if the lighting's good but uh, we did an episode on this cup of gold vine and now you could just definitely I almost wish I shot it now because it's blooming like crazy so hopefully we'll put a little link up here so you can see about this plant if you would like to see beautiful elegant wonderful flowers all right have a good day until next time